Welcome back to my Let's Play of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last part, we started the investigation. I mean, no. We started the trial. And, yeah. We might be in the killer's trap. So, now we're going to continue the trial and find out who done it. Why, hello there, Monami. Those moss balls sure look tasty to that. What's that what's in moss ball? Jesus Christ, that's gross. Stop it! Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. Here's some chance time. Whoa, 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 what? What's that? Now then, Monami's appeal time starts now. Huh? Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is going to give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck! Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss. <laughs> That's 99% your fault. While you're whining, your time's already run out. So please, make your appeal simple. About 3,000 words or so. Or 30,000, actually. That's too long. It'd be a very boring appeal. Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be merchandise opportunities heading your way. Um, then... I'm Usami, Magical Miracle Girl star Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk, gross. <laughs> Jeez, and I thought a certain robot's little sister was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment! <laughs> um... Who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Okay. Nope. Resume. Oh, yes. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Yes, you have, then. Seriously. He's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. Yeah. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. The reason the killer did an imitation murder? Is there a reason other than falsely fying the murder sequence? Something like that even exists. Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. <laughs> yeah. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die for Oh no, food. don't say that. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. No, don't say that. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, you can only kill two people at a time. Well, it's against the rules to kill three people yeah. in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Oh, Nagito, I love you. <laughs> Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! Excuse me, no, you shut up. Oh, no, you actually shut him up. He's like the smartest person here. Like, him and Chiaki are like, or running this trial. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. Yeah, see? It feels incomplete. Chiaki knows. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. Oh. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Yeah. Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Yeah, I was thinking that too. That's why I didn't really like make that connection real fast. But then people started talking about like, oh, well, she's tied up just like... The lion with I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. By common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. Yeah. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. Mm. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. 
What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying Yoko's murder wasn't. Oh. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So tire kimono, we know that Sonya told us. Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? Wait, was I right when I said that she just went to the music venue to tire kimono, saw them like killing happen, and then the killer killed her too? I said that when Sonya told us that in the motel room, and I and I wasn't really 100% sure if that was right, but it looks like it was. Damn, I'm smart. <laughs> I'll never say that again, don't worry. I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Oh, God. Why Hyoko went to the music venue? Isn't that the key to all this? I need to find it out, no matter the cost. You already know. Sony told us. This is definitely Sony's account. Do we not have Sony's account? Fuck, never mind. What the fuck is it? Oh, my motel room key, maybe? Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Motel room There's key. No way we'd know that. I feel maybe like it's the killer summoned her. Motel room key? No. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted. No, by we killer. know that's not it. No, maybe she went of her own free will. Yes, I agree with that. It's just as Sonia said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. Mm. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? No, her room was spotless. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Yoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. Mm. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Yeah, like on the ground or like in her hand or something. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't move. Oh, God. I kind of what? Are you saying my gut was wrong? Yes. This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're wrong. I'm sorry. No, th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sony's account. That's what it is. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her. Nope. That girl is so small and weak looking. <laughs> and that's why the killer targeted her. I mean, true, but no. I can't back down. What? <laughs> Just a little more and I can draw something out next time. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her. Yes. The girl is so small and weak no. looking. And yes. that's why okay. the killer targeted her. <laughs> that one? Okay, good. But Hiyoko's room was locked. Yes. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? Mm -hmm. It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. Okay, good There's no reason for the killer I haven't to seen anything the to hit yet, so. kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. How long was she going for? Try remembering Hiyoko's spot. Her kimono was all oh. messed up. Oh, what? 
Fuck. Crap. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono is only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Nope. That, Allow yeah, me yeah. to cut through those words. Ugh. Okay, so that one was pretty bad. But it also went on way longer than the other ones, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah. Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue. And I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Foil Whoa. Me, burn me. Take off my clothes. Um, Do whatever you want to me. No thanks. Sorry. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her oh my God. admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Oh my god, he is the biggest fucking perv. And I thought Terry Terry was bad. Hell no. Yeah, see, how how's made the good little boy? Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Yeah. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. That is true. Don't go doubting this Sonia, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet Whoa. under. Whoa. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Damn. Gundam, please stop. For his sake. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, even she know that Gundam could be the shit out of him. Huh? What do you mean for my sake? Of course, I've already overlooked no less than 10 opportunities to kill you. Well, if Kazuichi dies, um, I know who to look at. Even if the killer <laughs> couldn't predict it, why did Hiyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is, it was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? Yeah. When she oh, went God. to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. That's creepy. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Oh. Oh. Killed Hiyoko. That's kind of sad. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. No. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? Probably just kill Ibuki. They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? No. No. Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Nagito, have anything to say? Hey, Nagito, any ideas? See, even Hajime knows that Nagito knows something. Oh, fucking Kazuichi told him to shut up. See, this is why you need to let him talk. Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? You're the one who told him to shut up, dumbass. Oh, am I allowed to see? Speak? He was listening to you. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Aww. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. I always need your help, don't worry. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. Yeah, but that's obviously not the case. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. Mm -hmm. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, 
there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished <laughs> talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? <laughs> that's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly <laughs> laugh about it. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. Really? How much have you contributed? Nothing. <laughs> no, wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. Yeah. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. There's footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely looked over. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Why didn't Ibuki leave behind any footprints? Oh god, what? Um, 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 what? I don't know. The killer, no, um. Why didn't the killer leave behind any footprints? I don't know. Um. Oh, the stepladder, right? I can prove it with this. Because they're not on the stepladder. Okay. If Ibuki used I was worried the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. I mean, there were some on the side, but... Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? <laughs> you were obviously leading us to that. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. See? Nagito is a fucking genius. Nagito Komaeda. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. You never underestimate him. You always side with him and do what he says. I would. But didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? Yeah. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding the incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden proof is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. Great, no pressure or anything. Just trying to save everyone's life. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh. Oh well. You should get started already. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw the video. So I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging video. What that I saw? Based on everything we know about the argument thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. For instance, there was a certain item present when we investigated a crime scene that wasn't in the video. Does the step have blood on it? Here! Oh, but that really it? That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. I completely accidentally clicked the button. And then <laughs> I was looking over and then I accidentally clicked the button. And I'm like, oh shit. But it was right. So I, I, I'm glad. <laughs> Can you explain it to us? Was it because there was no blood on the ladder? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah, okay. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty. But on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. That's the one facing the camera, too. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. Yeah. 
If the video showed the moment of Mabuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. Mm -hmm. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. But why? Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. Huh. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? Oh. That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? <laughs> um, what are you two talking about? She's getting nervous because we're coming on to her. Am I right? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different. Chaki said that the stepladder was a, at a different place, but... So does that mean the video I saw is completely wrong? Which means the thing that's different between the video and the actual crime scene. Does it mean the killer used that surveillance camera unit to do something at that place? What? Hangman's Gambit. Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? What's this? Thing? Well, this is the day I die. Um. G F I M. M M M M. I N. I have no idea what this is. Um. M I N E or F. I will try something. Nope. Nope. Oh, I got one. Okay, F. F, F, F. Um, I'm assuming we got a vowel after this. I. Oh, I. Shit. Fuck. Um. <laughs> um F, I. L? I mean, there's a lot of L, so I'm going to go with L. is this word? Two L's? No, okay. Um. Val. Phil. F I L. O. No. G. No. Hmm? Film? There are like three layers after this. What is this? Um, film. Is it filming? Damn it. It's filming, right? The first word? That I clicked the wrong button. I'm sorry. Filming. Keep you. Filming. No, okay. Um, let's see. Filming L? What the fuck? Okay, I have no idea what 
I'm doing. Um, I'll be completely honest, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I know I just said that, but still. Um... I G H T lighting? In the lighting, filming lighting. I need an eye. I'm looking for an eye. I I'd like to buy an eye. Um, I can't find an eye, of course, because I need it. And you know, this game. Um God, I have three minutes left to do this. Wait, L I I G H T I N G. Yeah, lighting fits. Oh shit. Oh what? Filming. <gasps> I'm stupid. Filming location! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is the day I die. I, already, I said that at the beginning and I'm saying it now. Low. Okay. I clicked the wrong button on the T! Fuck off. I need an eye. I'm not gonna get an eye at all. And I'm gonna die. A slow and painful death. I did not mean to die. Oh, I, 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 I. Cache. Oh, now I need to know. Fuck off. I got it. Filming location? Seriously, pick a longer word next time. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> that's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. God, that's like 20 minutes on the get back. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. Okay. It was filmed somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Yeah. Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else. What did the killer do that the surveillance camera unit? The monitor and the camera are part of the surveillance camera unit. The video I saw at the hospital should have been filmed with the camera at the music venue. In the video that was filmed somewhere else, the killer was able to do that by... Oh, another logic dive, okay. Uh, these are honestly better than the fucking ha Hangman's Gambit, so... I'll take this. Okay, let's go fast! Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go like Sanic. Woo! Oh god, fuck off. Can I just say, I cannot breathe after doing Hangman's Gambit. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. Which says a lot about my health. Um... Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Fuck. It's either the camera or both. I'm going with camera. It, it might be both. It might be both. It's probably both. It's both. It was 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 both. No, it was camera! Thank fuck. <laughs> oh! That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm calling bullshit right there. That was not fair. Just so. Woo! God, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. God, I'm gonna have to do it again, so give me a sec. Wee! Again, I'm getting dizzy, I'm getting dizzy, I'm getting dizzy, I'm getting very dizzy. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it slow, but also fast. Um, cause that's how I do it. Slow and fast. I mean, what? Um... Did the killer camera with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? The camera at the music venue! Right, because we had the camera at the hospital. Right? Yes, okay, good. Holy hell. Oh god, oh my god, the dizziness! Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna take this very slow. Because... It's like 1 a.m. Oh, I am! And I'm getting very dizzy, and yeah, I don't like this. Um... <laughs> I like how it just said I like this, um, and now I'm complaining about it, but it's fine. What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera? They took it with them, I think? They took it with them. They took it with them, right? They had to have. I think. Oh, thank god. 
Okay, Rainbow Road. Woo, yeah. Okay. It's all coming together. Yeah. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. Mm. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? That's is that why they smashed it? That would make sense, because then we wouldn't realize the camera was missing. Yes. If it was in pieces. When I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. Oh. Or maybe did that too. That means you should have realized that from the start. <laughs> and made this easier on all of us. Yeah, well when you're seeing a dead hanging girl, it's kinda hard to look around. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused true. on the camera. Well, that's true, but in order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Smashed it. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was destroyed. I see. I look how low my health is. I need to build the that up. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. Mm-hmm. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. Yeah. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. Oh. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair oh my efforts, God. it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. <gasps> I know where it was. It was able to connect between the hospital and the it was in the um, room with the curtain in the hospital. Which means even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitted to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where the video was filmed to make it look like it was filmed in the music venue? The only possibility is that place inside that building. What is this? No! You suck. Is it conference room? I think so. I'm seeing O and F's. Uh, o and F's. O and F's. There we go. C-O. I'm not gonna mess up this time because I learned from my mistakes. C-O. F. I need or N. I need an N. There we go. N. Okay. N. I need an F. I need an F. Give me an F. I'm gonna keep the board clean. I'm gonna do what I need to. F. R. I need an R. R is red? R is red. Yes. Okay. Con. Damn it. Okay. Maybe, maybe I need an E. I need an E. E, because I don't know how to spell conference. I need E. I need an E. I need there. Thank you for the E. Um. Er. Con. Fur. E N C E. E N C E. That's enough. No, I don't need it. E. N. No, I have C's. Nope, I need, what do I need? For, uh, N, N, thank you. N, C, E. Oh, good. R, oh, nice, thank you. O, O, M, I need an M. Give me an M. No, I don't need R's. M, M, like, mm, at the end of room. Um, oh, M, <laughs> don't need that, don't need See, I did that in a minute. Because I fucked up so bad last time, I didn't want to make that mistake again. It's possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference yes. room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. Not the conference room. If you, especially if you cover the curtain. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. Make the conference room look like the music venue. 
The killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make that clear. What would that work? They bought the curtain, right? And put it in the music menu. To match the um, thing. The one in the um, conference room. There's no way the conference room and the music menu look the same. Well, you would be the one saying that, wouldn't Which you? Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Yes. Nope. Okay, never mind. I lied, I lied, I lied. Yeah, I know. I lied. Shut oh my god, it's so much. There's Except no not really, I just have really room. shit life. And the music venue looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Oh, that one, yeah, duh. That must be it! Yeah, okay. I, I write it the other way around, I'm sorry. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Mm. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. Oh, see, I, I didn't even know that. It somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so happy! Oh my god. Just like Monami. Yep. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. Good one. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? Mm. In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. Mm. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... Wood. The same color as the music venue stage. Yeah. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. <laughs> I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. Yeah. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. What? I can think of anything else. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like a conference room. That is the reason the killer used that in the video is because they tamper with evidence. What? That is the reason the killer used that in the video to make fake. Candle? I can prove it. Yes. Yeah. I was waiting for that for that to come up. You're referring to the candle in the music video, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. Mm. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? Did you? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Mm. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Hmm. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for yeah, that. Yeah, that's effect. true. With that cheap ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. Yeah. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue, it was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. It's fine. I mean, it took us time, but we got there. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. No. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. 
You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. Yeah. I don't think I even knew there was a conference room at that time. <laughs> the incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. Yes. I feel like I've heard Bayside Cops say that before. But isn't that the other way around? I don't know. Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? Uh... No, that's not possible. Right? No. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been... The Buki in the music venue. The Buki in the conference room. Um, the Buki in the conference room. I see. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. Mm-hmm. By that time. The real Ibuki must have already been killed. Probably, yeah. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. Oh, wow. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. And no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set the trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... So she would have an alibi. There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Yep. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? Dude, I've been new since the fucking beginning. <laughs> like, I knew... Actually, I think I knew before, like, they were even dead. I said... I said it. That's right, I should already know. I should have already known. I did. Who the killer is. It... Is none other... Than Nikon... Tsumuki, or Tsumiki. I don't know if it's last name. You're the only one! Yep. Nika, you're the killer, aren't you? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what are you talking about? The thing is, oh, I, does she remember doing it? If she had the disease, then did she forget? Like I said, aren't you the killer <laughs> who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Like, it, okay, if she doesn't remember, like, having the disease, I'm gonna feel really bad for her. But if she, like, is still having the disease and is putting on this fake thing, I mean, I'll still feel bad for her, because she was actually a really, like, sweet, innocent girl, but, like, still. Hey, don't you think that's kind of impossible? No, what kind of A chick like her is the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. I mean... You're not 100% wrong? She's right! But... Uh, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question! But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. Yeah. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Yep. Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! No, I'm sorry. But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. That's true. Is that also a coincidence? No. <gasps> uh, shouldn't you get some rest? You should you should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then if you exist, I will go use the on call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Yeah, they're right next to each other. 
Oh god. It's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared though. in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. Yeah. Oh. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. True. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Yeah. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair That's disease. true. So that must mean... Please wait a second! No, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. That's impossible! There's no way I can kill someone! But if you had a despair disease... It's not literally impossible. <laughs> Can't you give a better defense than that? That's the truest thing I've ever fucking heard. It's not literally impossible to kill someone, because anyone could. He's not wrong. Just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? 100%. And now that we brought it up in trial too, now I'm like certain. Wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Then what? Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? Mm hmm. I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow witted woman. Wow. That slow witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> Okay, question. Ha has Mikan not been stuttering? Oh wait, no, wait, 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 that was Toko. Wait, wasn't Mikan? Okay, did Mikan have a stutter at some point? Or like, you know she was always like nervous and shy? I know Toko did. Did Mikan do that too? Cause I, I, I've kind of been noticing she hasn't been doing that. What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Oh wait, no, never mind. Hey, me, there it is. I mean, well, that could be she because she's crying though. So, hey, you know, I could just be really overlooking this. I, I don't know. Um. Oh great, and now he looks like an asshole. Everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Yes. The despair disease, dude. Bring that up, anyone would believe that. Could it be? I'm the one making a mistake? No. No, in fact, it'd be much easier if I was wrong. If I had this much doubt with someone I've spent so much time with? Uh, can you hold on a minute? Oh, yes, please speak. Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. Don't and worry. I mean, I have no place to say you this. You can always say whatever you want, don't worry. I'll back you up. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Oh. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Same! Me too. I, I thought it was Mikan since the start. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Mm. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. What? What did that meek had to despair disease? Cause dude, same. Huh? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? Yeah. You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Actually, this <laughs> is a game. Uh, fourth wall, just got smashed. Please don't say such controversial statements. 
Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Is it that Megan had the despair disease? Dang, that's a huge deal! Because <laughs> I think that's what it is. A d d d decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope he oh. was dangling from. Never mind. This rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Okay. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for <laughs> criminal goods. I mean, true. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? Mm hmm. What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope and keep in mind that it's brand new. Okay. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed as if it was rubbed strongly. Oh. Okay. But why is it like this? The loopy bookie used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? Oh. It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. <gasps> Killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. Oh. The center of the rope is frayed. Oh. That's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Oh, I don't like this pic. I don't like looking at Ibuki like that. That. That's uncomfortable. I've been listening to you for a while. And it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. I mean, you probably did. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Not everyone <laughs> cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. <laughs> just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Oh. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. <laughs> huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. I mean, we now learned that she was strangled with the rope and not hung. Nagito's words contained a decisive clue. Is that really true? Oh. Rope used for hanging. I'm assuming this is what we have to do. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Yeah. She was strangled to death. True. That's basically the same thing. No. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Look different. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Okay, I didn't talk during that because I had my mouth open. Um, but I figured out what he was saying. Ibuki's true cause of death was strangulation. That fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. If so, the killer would have desperately tried to hide that truth. Maybe there's still proof of whatever action they took to hide. Ibuki I don't know what hit though, but hanging. she was strangled to death. Yes. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. No, okay, damn it. I don't know why I have to hit it, but I know. Yeah, okay, yeah. Crap! That's fine. <laughs> um. Ibuki didn't die. She was strangled. That's basically no. the Though hanging and strangling, the scars they leave would look scars. You mean the But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? 
from the autopsy. Did we fall for someone's lie? Yes. That must be it. And who took the autopsy? So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's caught of death with being hanged by this rope, right? Yes. She has no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it? Yep. That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. I mean, you are the ultimate nurse. You, Mikon, the ultimate nurse. I'm sorry. But first of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. Mm, sorry. You, I don't believe you. You were right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student <laughs> can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. Damn. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. Uh, no. He's totally right. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess. But I she's not so just a careless. nurse. She's an ultimate nurse. Mikon nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Yeah. Huh? It could have easily been you or Nagito. And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. Yeah, and she had a gullible disease. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Mikan yeah. is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. I've been saying this from the beginning. You've got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's oh. no way I can forgive you. Damn. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Oh, he's been acting like this since, like... The crime took place like he's like not forgiving this crime and like it means a lot more than it actually is um forgiveness or not we still have not decided if mikon is the killer huh. <laughs> hmm i see you guys are kind yeah a little bit too kind well if that's the choice everyone makes then the only thing i can do is back off i guess but is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? Mm. You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! Akane, don't do that. I'm really, really not the killer! Hajime, we gotta do this. There's no way! I'm capable of killing someone! Hajime? Is that really true? Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. Yeah. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. No. Oh. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Yeah. Huh? I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Mm -hmm. Cause, if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? Yeah. D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Mm-hmm. 
Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Okay. Nikon? Huh? Is that all you can say? What? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? I have fucking... I just got goosebumps all over the place. Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. Oh my god, her voice is so creepy now. Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. Damn. Hey, hey, Mika. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not God. fair. Not 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 fair. Why won't you forgive me if you did something wrong? You forgive yourself right away. Um. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Well, you killed two people. He's acting like this your strategy <laughs> now. Well, this is annoying. Plus, to be honest, we've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Huh? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. Uh. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. Yeah. That's why we gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Yeah. Jacket. Hey, Mikan. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't. But who was it? Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Oh. Ah, that's right! God. Show me your proof! She literally goes from crying to creepy in like 0 0.0 seconds and is freaking me out. <laughs> No, we can't have that as fact. Treating me like a killer based on an assumption. Just because I was at the hospital. That's totally crazy. I didn't do anything wrong. Why does everybody always hate me? Please. Just forget me already. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're losing it. Is this broad really okay? No. She's emotionally unstable. Yes. <laughs> I'm not the killer. This video. I never filmed that video. <sighs> it seems she finally started arguing for us. Yeah. This is where we do the shield thing. Huh? But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you. Yeah, we're gonna do the shield tap eat thing. So, I'm going to leave this to you once again. Could it be? Was this Jackie's goal all along? Let's do it. She's saying everyone's fate depends on me. The only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please forgive me already! Oh. I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's gonna finish this. If it's a final argument or whatever. Oh no, make your argument. What? Oh shit, never mind. Me come the kill, maybe? I'm not the killer! I can't think hanging. of anybody else other than you. Rounds coming in at AC temperature. Who could have filmed that video? Maybe AC temperature. We haven't used that yet. Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof?
Oh god, she's creepy. Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Oh my god, I don't like her. <laughs> the voice. Slippers she had on. Oh my god, that's so fucking creepy. Ibuki and Mikon clearly that's... have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! You? Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Don't flinch, don't hesitate, don't run away. Just as Chiaki said, he can't just panicking right now. I'm the only one who can point out that mistake. I'm not the killer! Okay. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Yeah. Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you have any proof? Oh my god. I Is the creepy voice. <laughs> It's so fucking creepy. Is the hospital gown she was Especially since from her other voice where she's like sweet and crying and everything. Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Get chills when she speaks like that. Really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? <gasps> Oh, 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 I think I got it. I, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Um. Ibuki and Mikon. Is that really your? You could tell her body type under the. Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction. How would you know the camera angle? Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. Hajime was the only one who saw that. Mistake? Yeah. As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. Yeah. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. Mm hmm So how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? Or filmed it. The only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? Yep. This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. Yeah. You lied, didn't you? She did. Ah! Oh. oh. Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! Forgive me! And she's begging for forgiveness, too, so... Huh? Oh, God, creepy voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no, that's not it at all. That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. Stop being creepy. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. You're telling me. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Yes. Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Well, you just proved that you, like, saw the video. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So oh, don't God. you think it's impossible? I'm pretty sure Monica must have a limited item, but, like, for one person, and then he gave two. 
using one toe so... bag in both the concert <laughs> Sorry. and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? No. That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. Well, you just made it impossible for anyone to be the killer, so now we're all fucked. <laughs> so you'll forgive me, right? No. Uh, you're, you're going a little bit too crazy for forgiveness? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Yeah. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Uh -huh. Long time no see. Well, not really. It's time for the third panic talk action. This... It's probably going to be my last job during the class trial. Oh, really? Okay. Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time. Starting from the PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. You will no longer be able to make do with just a beep up. Below the tempo marker is the lower portion of the screen the number the bullets are displayed. From this point on, you only one bullet to destroy one marker. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the remark no matter how many times you bash the beep up. You'll be able to refresh your bullet by pressing the X button to reload. Just like locking on, press the X button in time with the tempo marker. Control are the same as the B button. Match the tempo markers either by pressing the X button. The number of bullets refresh is based on how well you keep the tempo. If you get the timer on when you press the X button, bullets will not be refreshed, so please be careful. Also, your ammo will be completely refreshed and will not run out during fever time. If you're difficult, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, come on, gentle. I guess that was a pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all for the explanation for the class trials. The rest is up to you to overcome. You should be able to find it beyond that point, what you and I both yearn for. I don't like this voice, true despair. No, see, um, I'm Team Nagato with Team Hope, just saying. Well, then good luck and have fun. Yes, limited to one person, but yeah, two. I remember he talked about those. <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull So off. no one killed him? This chick, has she lost it for good? Oh, yeah. Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? Nope. <laughs> At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Panic talk action. Okay. You still haven't forgiven me? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, draw on me! You are done for! <sighs> I like how all of her are like bandages, especially the nurse. Please, draw on me! Did she say draw on her? Forgive me already? You still haven't forgiven me? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please God. draw on me! Draw me? What? Time it down again. Can you forgive me already? No. Sorry. I'll do anything you want. Um, no thanks. I'm not into you like that. Sorry. Even though you pressed your you chest against us multiple times. I'll do anything you want. Shall I let you punch me? Um, no, thanks. Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me? No, we forgive haven't. Me. Forgive me! Yep, you can keep saying that. Draw on me! You are done draw for! You? There's only one bag. It's impossible to use it in two places oh, at the same time. No, it's theater prize. It's theater prize. Box. Damn it! Um. There's only one bag. It's impossible to use it in two Peter places at the same prize time. bonus. What the fuck is it? Please draw on me. Bonus theater. You're theater. Theater prize bonus. Can you bonus theater prize. I'll do anything you want. There's only one bonus it's theater prize. It Damn it! Time. I'm gonna die. Can you forgive me already? 
And the negative is not helping. No, I help me figure this out the with the words. Do your bonus prize. This is the end. Okay. Holy shit! Look how low my health is. Dude, I fucking suck at this. And I knew it was Mekon too from the start, and yet I still fucking failed. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. It should just have been bonus prize. Like, bone. Us. Prize. Like, what, where the fuck did theater come in? Yeah. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Mm-hmm. Because you killed two people. It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Yeah. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. Mm. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Oh. Closing argument. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, what I saw in the monitor now, um... What did the killer do after the broadcast? Wait, is this? The video on the broadcast hanging. Why is it? There we go. Um... Why was it before now? The small clue the killer left. Put it back to normal after destroying it. What? Um, how the really luck gets this and then put it back to normal after destroying it, and then what's left of the surveillance camera. There we go. Um, okay. Rough hemp bag, no mommy's tote bag. Let's kill our two after broadcast. I mean, maybe both. Okay. Um, I'm worried because I feel like if I get one wrong, I might die. Um, the body was hidden before, and then the small clue to left. Here's everything that happened oh, in this that was case. Easy. Key that was really short. Is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Mikan this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. Mm. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. Oh. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. Yeah. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. 
First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. Mm. When in reality, it was blue. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. Oh. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Oh. Oh, she's the nurse. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, that's a weird smile. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. Whoa, N now she's laughing? Yep, she's lost it. <sighs> it's been such a long time. What? This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. Huh? This feeling of despair! What? M Mikon, you. What has happened to you? Whoa there! Whoa, Before hi. That, a moment of your time. Now we need a vote. I probably suck at this. Um, 62, yep, 79. 41! <laughs> okay. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! Wow. So I'm kind of confused why she's talking about loving despair. Like, she's giving me major Junko vibes. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, that's a little weird. For all rise. Well now. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point. Correct. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row. That's right. The true identity of this horrifying black and who killed two girls was Mikan. Stumiki! Is the tea silent? Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan? The one who nurses back to health? The one who killed them? I won't forgive Don't you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us this whole time? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> God. Hey! Don't just laugh. Say something! This is gonna going nowhere. God, that's weird. What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. There's, this is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. I know, right? That's obvious. There's nothing we can do. 
She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Tsumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my prediction, she might have caught it too. That's what I've been saying from the fucking start. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. Yes, I've been saying that since the beginning. What? Mikan 2, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikan 4 so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was <sighs> full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on. Did you say Mikan also had a despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? Oh. That? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right. Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been. High fever. Just like with Ibuki and Akane had. Oh. See, and yeah, I didn't put that together. I mean, I just thought, well, you know, when a girl's on top of you and her breasts aren't in your face, like, I'm assuming that's gonna be a bit hot, but... It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps... The symptom that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name. Despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why. She can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> hey. Junko 2.0. Jeez. Which means the Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Gosh, she really is fucking Junko 2.0. <laughs> ultimate despair? <laughs> okay. I. That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh. For the sake of despair? <sighs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong? What's wrong? What I did is for the sake of my beloved. Oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive. And they'd be so happy. I know. Oh my god, what? What is happening? My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who... She is licking out of her mouth, her nose, and her eyes. Never hated me. Okay. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. So you did it in the name of love? They loved me. I loved them with all my heart. And they returned it in full. Okay, notice how she keeps referring to her beloved as they and them. Which intrigues me a bit. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know... But you know, to transcend all that is truly... It's love! What love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? He has me, what are you talking about? <laughs> is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? I- Hello! Me? Are you- Have you not been watching since the beginning of this game? Mikan, come on. Me. What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Oh, bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need a smack her a little bit. Well, even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. 
have this feeling of freedom where I no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> and that's why. As long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. What? Oh, it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, only love. Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by the despair disease. <sighs> you were half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to this disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? But... But it did mean she remembered something and ended up like this. Such despair. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? <laughs> don't get so angry. Well, first of all, <laughs> the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everyone's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved existence. And it was also my beloved who created me that everyone can forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. As a key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Is she did did she somehow um no slash Beloved Junko? Because the fact that they're like kind of censoring their sex by saying like they and them kind of points that's a girl. Or could point it to a girl or someone who's non binary. I don't know. But, just, but this is my theory, so give me a sec. Um, <laughs> plus, talking about being the ultimate despair, as Naito called her. And plus, she was like raving about despair, like. Like, at the end. So... I don't know. And plus, she talked about her beloved being dead, right? And we know Junko was dead. I don't know. Are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikan. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's about the World Ender Organization that you are all worried about. You serious? You know? Oh shit, you remembered everything. <laughs> Not no. I just remembered that, so. I knew about it all along. How the horrifying organization known as the World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future. That's right, a symbol of the ancient ruins door. That's right. With the Japanese word for future. Oh. Okay. Just what is this Future Foundation? Why are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the world ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. Oh, what the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monami? <laughs> oh shit, Monami part of Future Foundation? <laughs> and world ender? You... I knew it! Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monami and I aren't members. I am Monokuma! 
My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Don't laugh. Hey Mikan, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us? <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see. The future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is. Oh? Oh well. No one really cares about that, don't you think? Oh wow, what a troll. I mean, I knew she wasn't gonna tell us. Of course not! Oh hell no! <laughs> we'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? You, even you know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is. Mikan, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. You're like this all along? Because if that's true, then who's the person you've been spending time with up till now? Or we've been spending time with? Hmm. The past. Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her high school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh? <sighs> that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. This is 100% something Junko would say. You could accept my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well... Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personality. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memory makes those shadows of, of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So it really was true. Our memories were taken? Damn it! If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering like this. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, Monokuma, it's all right for you to start now? Yes, indeed! Punishment time. Damn it, why? Mikan, why did it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! <laughs> for the ultimate nurse, Mikan Tsumiki. So it's over. Yeah. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved... Who always forgives me. Okay. I can finally see them. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Oh. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh boy. Here we go. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting Mikan to be like that. <laughs> that that I did not expect. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh god, needle. Bye bye ouchies. Ultimate nurse, Mikan Sumiki's execution. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the f Sorry, did she just get fisted to death? Or did, wait, did she even die? She just like blast off in space. 
Okay. Um, that was something. It's finished. It is really finished. The killer who killed Ibuki, Miyoda, and Hyoko Sayanji was Mikan Tsumiki. And she been executed. Well, did she? She kind of just disappeared in space, like, blasting off like Team Rocket does, and they always come back fine, so... I'm just saying, we might see Mikan again. Just, just saying. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, and all along, Mikan was never worthy of being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by that despair disease, if that disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to that disease, she was definitely worthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! That's impossible. Uh... I mean... I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards collapsed, saying in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way we can move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too! Wrong! Too bad, that's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor's still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now? <gasps> I'm not fun at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you got like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What did that, what did that make you fiend? You did say that you're different from Monami. Phew! Who cares about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama just keeps going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. What? My black bean right eye during the break? Hey! Your right eye is made out of black beans? Oh, he's actually talking about the right eye. Hey, hey! Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life is, has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after up. But if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island Beach. An old friend will be waiting there. <gasps> Is Nekomaru okay? Old friend? Huh? Could it be? Nekomaru? Hey! It, it is. It is, isn't it? And Nekomaru was safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe. How should I say this? Um, oh god, is he gonna be in like a wheelchair or something? <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekamaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um. The light of hope? Um, I am happy Nekamaru is returning to us, but I. So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. That's okay. Hmm. Miss Sonia? However. Yeah. Even so, I am still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I am truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of who gives a shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. I shall crush you in the dust. Um. Ibuki, Hyoka, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I... I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekomaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> oh, Makane! <laughs> what the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? No, you're just happy. I don't get it, this at all. Akane. Alright! Let's go! Yeah, you're right. 
that Kumar is coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement and we jumped into the elevator. Oh, what? Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Gee, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um... What does that mean? Hey! You... You're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain them. Including Nekumari's body. What? Hmm? Huh? Nekumari's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not listening around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> you... What did you do to Nekumaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there is no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh, what happened to Nekumaru? Oh, I guess we're about to find out. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. Right. Let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept running on towards the first island of the beach. Where, where in the world is Nekomaru? Hey. Nekomaru, show yourself! Listen. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. Looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But... Hey, hey! What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found! Damn it! Could it be? Did we get false information from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo through the beach. <laughs> <gasps> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Oh, he sounds great! Could it be? That voice! With high hopes in our heart, we turned towards the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. What? What? Huh? What the? What? Yo! I've kept you waiting! What? <laughs> what happened to him? Hey! What's going on? I don't know. Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> what happened to him? Um, who are you? Oh, what happened to him? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Oh, it again. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? What happened to his body? <laughs> this is nothing! The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! What the fuck? Oh my god, he's a robot. <laughs> I mean, it looks like him. Oh. But that's not what you were expecting? I mean, I wasn't either, but... Oh, this stupid countdown again. Nine days left. 14 hours, 34 minutes. Chapter 3. Trapped by the Ocean Scent. End. Surviving students? Nine. To be continued. Oh! Oh, we got Mikan's apron! Cool. <laughs> okay, I am going to end it here. Whole... Wow, okay, I was not expecting, um, a lot. I, I, I wasn't expecting Mikan to be, like, fucking Junko 2.0, as I've been calling her. All in love with despair and shit. And also in love with 
her beloved, which I think might be Junko, right? Or it could be someone we don't know yet. But, like, if it's someone we know, I'm assuming it's Junko. But, I don't know. Um, And then we have Robo Nekumaru is here. Um, Which, he's alive, which is great. Um, He's a robot, which means he probably won't die. So, that's great. Um, I guess next time we'll just go from there. So, yeah. That's it.